This video is brought to you by DistroKid. Hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna try Instagram music production tips to see if they really help us. I did this before and the results were, uh... So let's see if we can do better this time. Oh, here we go. Oh boy. How to get a clean mix. Are you doing this? Do I need to make my EQs look like that? Look at this. Oh. Ooh. So actually that's that's not bad. God damn it. <laughs> All right. Okay, that can we put one point on the board for Instagram tips? Save this as fixed. Huh? Huh? We should try these exotic scales, especially the oriental one. Am I allowed to say that? You even say it's 2021 here. You can't say that anymore. Yes, quite. I could probably put C minor chords underneath it. It doesn't show the appropriate key that it's supposed to be with. Or maybe I'm just being an ignorant non-music theory nerd. And you can do like the... those five and then get melodies off of that because these are all pretty much pentatonic especially with this word do you hear that that is an exotic scale that is not an exotic scale it's literally just a minor scale okay here's the thing i think sticking to something like this might be more hurtful than helpful because it's tough to find a chord progression that will accompany these i think that's a fair takeaway so one point ash once again Oh, here we go. Three tips to write better melodies. Close the gap. As a rule of thumb, try to keep your melody inside or close to one octave. And that's me closing the gap on those. That's not bad. All right, Instagram, I'll give you that one. Hum the melody. If you're not able to hum your melody or play it with one hand, it means it's too complex. I don't know, I'm gonna make it. You know what, I'm gonna break this rule. I'm not gonna be able to hum this, but it's gonna sound dope, watch. Well, apparently it's not good because it's too complex. Hit record and jam. Another way to create better melodies is by simply jamming like the old school ways. Keep in mind that even the best music producers make bad melodies sometimes. Hit record and jam. Uh, I, think, I think there's already a lot going on here. Barring any latency. I think we've got some cool transitionary things happening here. I mean, I don't hate it. All right, Instagram, I see you. Save it for later. I didn't save for later, I did it now. See, that's the important step to these. Instead of just saving for later, if y'all are inspired by seeing this, just do it. Do it! This is not bad advice. I'm looking for bad advice. Here we go. What does this mean? Pac-Man snare? Pan hi-hat to the left a little. Crash. Oh, like this, to the right. Okay, I'm listening to it right now and the drums just sound way like wide. The issue with this as well, it's more meant, like I said, for quote unquote live instruments and stuff that you might have recorded yourself. But if you're using samples, 90% of the time they've already done the proper stereo imaging to that sample. So you can just drag and drop them in. If we look at this zombie crash sample, this is our stereo waveform. The one to the right is slightly bigger than the one to the left, which means these are actually all already stereo panned. So don't sweat this so much. Get out of here, drum panning guide. We don't need you. I never set out to be part of a genre because I listen to all types of music. Did he even say that? What's your source? Ah, I hate these fake inspirational pages. <laughs> Take risks, don't play it safe. Believe in what you are doing. Don't do it for money. Focus on the positive. Put your energy in the right place. Have fun. We're just gonna put Martin Garrix's picture and then have generic inspirational quotes. So we've tried Instagram and I've noticed that they pretty much just all go over the same topics. Like I said before, they use a lot of that fake inspiration where it's about like feeling good and not taking action. Let's see what TikTok has to offer. Oh, what's up gamers? Just a quick little check-in from your favorite person. <laughs> That's me. DistroKid is the best way to release your music and upload to streaming services. But check this out. If you're like me on 
Instagram all day. Make it a little bit more productive. I'm talking to me, not you. Make it a little bit more productive by promoting your release on there. Look, so that you're not just posting boring pictures like everybody else. And check this out, DistroKid's brand new, wait, can you see? DistroKid's brand new goodies menu. Look, look at this, it's easy. You just pick your song, whew. Pick your, pick your song, pick your song. And look at this magic. And look at all the different kinds like this one. See, everything's fine. I don't know who you are, but I like you. Okay, this one's more my style. You can find that all on DistroKid along with all sorts of other promotional things. And thank you to DistroKid for sponsoring this video. And if you're still on the fence about it, it's 7% off your first year if you use the VIP link. It's in the description below. Go get it. Click on that. Oh wait, did Ash say TikTok? I don't know. Post it on there too. Whatever you want. Live your life. If you're recording music, don't ever buy one of these things. I can tell you it's a huge waste of money. What people don't understand about microphones is that they have something that's called a polar pad. No! 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 I just want to not spread misinformation. This guy's the anti-vaxxer of music production. No matter what the polar pattern of a microphone is, even if you have no vocal shield, as he says, it's a scam. If you don't have a well-treated room, not even well-treated, just an empty room, like a bathroom, the microphone's still gonna pick up those reflections. And it's gonna help when you have a freaking shield because that will reduce the reflections, especially if you're in a bigger room. That sh helps with your vocal recordings because you get a flatter sound or a more consistent sound because you're not getting reflections. And that's all you want. Let's see what I else is going. RS tell me, oh, I don't care about the fame. I don't care about the money. Oh yeah? Then what do you care about? What's gonna happen if the music doesn't work out? There's something called hobbyists and like people just do it for fun. I did that for the longest time. Let's look at some of these. Save your CPU with this tip. I'm a music producer and here's why buffer size is important. So this may have happened to you before you have an intense project with a lot of stuff going on and then all- People have so much energy on TikTok. Sudden it starts crackling like, <sighs> here's a clip. If you increase the buffer size, this will reduce the burden on the CPU. That's actually good advice. The only thing is he didn't mention that it adds latency. So that means if you're trying to record something and your buffer size is super high, everything's gonna be a little bit delayed and it's gonna be hard to record stuff. But if you're just making beats, putting samples together, that type of thing, you should be fine. But if you start recording MIDI, any of that kind of thing, then you run into problems with this tip. So just be careful about that. If you like this video, if you learned something, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I go live on Twitch. Where we did this today, so go follow the Twitch. Wait. Also, if you have any questions, <laughs> just do that. I cut everything. Mm.